Hey, what's up, college basketball fans? Colin Brown here welcoming you into another edition of Colin's Corner on the next one's Discovery Platform. What a week of college hoops we just had. The first two rounds of the tournament are now over. The Sweet 16 is set for this Thursday. We had some big-time matchups, some big-time individual performances, and it was really just overall a great week of college basketball. But today, we're going to look back at a guy who really dominated on Sunday afternoon in a loss. A tough performance for his team, but he really, really played well in that game. That's Aubrey Dawkins of Central Florida. This kid had 32 points against Duke yesterday, really making and taking some tough shots to keep UCF in that game at certain points before the Knights finally fell on an RJ Barrett putback, which put Duke up in the end. But Aubrey Dawkins, 32 points yesterday afternoon. He averaged 15 points per game on the season alongside five rebounds and over one steal a game as well. So he did a lot of work for this Knights team, which ended up making it to the round of 32 in the tournament, playing for his father down in Central Florida. He transferred in from Michigan. And keep in mind, he's only a junior. He still has another year of eligibility left. So watch out for Aubrey Dawkins and this UCF team going into next season. I know they do lose Taco Fall, a big presence down low. But watch out, you never know what can happen, and I think Aubrey Dawkins could be a guy to lead this team back to the tournament next season. But now, let's dive into his game and take a little bit more of an in-depth look. He's great in catch-and-shoot situations. I think that's where he's at his best, coming off rubs, coming off screens, really working defenders, running the baseline. He's big time in catch-and-shoot situations where he knocks down threes at a high percentage. He's got a smooth mid-range jumper as well where he uses his body to create space. And then I was really impressed yesterday with his ability to attack the rim. He was attacking R.J. Barrett all day long. Barrett, a top five pick in this June's upcoming draft, and he really made him look silly at certain times with crossover, shimmies, getting in the lane, finishing around the rim. It was a big time performance from Aubrey Dawkins, who really put himself on the national stage yesterday. The bright lights will be on him next season as well, but this is a kid who has a lot of potential, and I think another summer to improve his game keep shooting at a high rate and then really start to get downhill and attack the rim like he did yesterday more often could help him next season as well. So Aubrey Dawkins of UCF, although they had a tough loss yesterday, he's a big time playmaker. He's had a big time performance against Duke. Watch out for him next season and watch out for the Knights as well. As we continue to roll on here next once, don't forget the Sweet 16 starts on Sunday. We'll have more episodes of Collins Corner to come this week, which will get you set for everything you need to know in regards to the Sweet 16 and the NCAA Tournament. For now, thank you for joining us. I'm Colin Brown saying so long. Have a good night.